Hey, what's up guys? Working on the 1994 Toyota pickup. Gonna be doing a quick tune-up on it. So I'll be replacing the spark plugs along with the spark plug wires and then also the distributor cap and rotor as well. So go ahead and pop your hood here. Okay, so once you get your hood open, go ahead and uh, locate your cylinders. So I'm gonna start on the driver's side, which is gonna be the even number cylinders. So you got two, four, and six. And then on the passenger side, you're gonna have one, three, and five. And you can see our wires running to our distributor cap right here. And then of course our rotor inside there. So I'm gonna start out with just the uh, spark plugs first. So to get to this driver's side, looks like uh, it's gonna be a lot better if we move this uh, air intake. So let's go ahead and do that first. So grab yourself a 10 millimeter. And I think I'm just gonna loosen up this worm clamp here. And then this one right up here. So go ahead and loosen those. Then you grab yourself a pair of pliers and let's go ahead and disconnect this breather line here. And just pull that up. And then if you take a look, we got one more uh, worm clamp we need to loosen to get this uh, air and take off. So go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter, loosen that one up. See if we can just pull this off. It's probably gonna be pretty hard. It's been on there for so long. We'll loosen that clamp a little more. So now you can see that gives us a lot better access to the uh, cylinder two, four, and then six right here. Next, I'm gonna take a rag and just kinda clean this a little bit here. And then I'm just gonna shove this in here so nothing blows in there. And then I'm gonna take some compressed air and just kinda blow along here, try to get some of that dirt and uh, debris out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on uh, cylinder number six here. So go ahead and pull off your spark plug wire. Sometimes these can be hard to get off. You can see there's our spark plug. So what you wanna do is take yourself a uh, 5 8 spark plug socket. And you can see it has a little rubber grommet in there to help retrieve the uh, spark plug. So go ahead and get that on there. And then go ahead and loosen that up. Go ahead and pull your old plug out of there. There's our old spark plug. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our old and new plugs here. So you can see the old ones were a uh, Bosch Platinum, and they really don't look too bad. Um, but I'm going to be replacing them with these uh, NGK G-Power Platinum plugs, uh, part number 7090. Got all six of these off of uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. So let's go ahead and just take a look at one. And these do not come uh, pre-gapped, so you will have to gap them. And you can take just one of these uh, cheap tools here like this. And what these need to be gapped at is 0 0.032 inches. And so what you do is you just start this on the smallest end here, slowly rotate it. 
and it should stop right there but you can see I can keep going so this gap is way too big so we need to uh, make this gap right here smaller and the way you do that you can uh, either push it up against like this here it's kind of hard to hold on the plug and press it but see if you can do it that way and then just check it again so it looks like we need to go still a little more and you can see if I rotate it here pretty much stops right there so you can see right at the uh, 0 0.032 and I can't move it down anymore so then you just back it off and you should be good right there at that and if we take a look let's check out our old one here same thing I'll stick it under here and this one you can see I can go a little bit more so this one was probably looks like about 0 0.034 or so um, which really wasn't that bad so yeah this one should be good right there at 0 0.032. And then what I do is take some of this uh, anaxes. And I like to just put a little bit of this on the threads. Don't really need much. And then you just kind of mix this into the threads. It'll work itself in once you screw it in though. And we should be ready to install. So then go ahead and take your new spark plug here, go ahead and stick that in the socket, then come on down here, let's go ahead and screw this into the cylinder head here, and just go ahead and start it with by hand. Until it kind of stops there and I'll grab my torque wrench. Okay guys, so what you want to do next, grab your torque wrench and uh, you're going to want to torque that to 13 foot-pounds. But as you can see, my torque wrench batteries are actually bad. So I cannot uh, adjust my torque wrench here and I don't feel like running to the store to get some new ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do these by hand. And what I feel is uh, right around 13 foot-pounds. which really isn't much. So just go to they give you a little resistance there and I'll call that good right there. Go ahead and pull that off. And then what I'm gonna do, since we are replacing these wires, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just stick this on here. Just kinda, just kinda loosely like that for now. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to these other two spark plugs first. So kind of the same thing here. Go ahead and pull off cylinder number four wire there. And this one you can use a little bit of a longer extension. Makes it a little easier. And get on that plug. that one and then same thing got my gap all set get your new plug in here again just stick that on lightly there let's do uh cylinder number two and then this one might be a little bit harder because you got your uh, oil and transmission dipstick kind of in the way there. So get your hand in there. Pull that off. And let's see. So this one here. A little bit harder. Let me see if I can just uh, see if we can just pull this whole dipstick out of here, the oil one. 
see if that gives us a little more room. that one Give me one in there. I'll just kind of stick that on temporarily. And uh, before I put the uh, air box and all that back on, or the air intake, and uh, before we do the distributor cap here, let's go ahead and get the uh, passenger side done really quick. And then you can just go ahead and stick your uh, oil dip stick back down in there for now. Okay guys, so on the passenger side here, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, this one right here shouldn't be too bad. And then the one next to it, I don't think it's going to be as bad either. But the other one's behind all this cable and hoses and stuff. And uh, it's kind of hard to see. But I think we'll still be able to get our wrench and hand down in here and still be able to pull it out. So let me go ahead and get my camera set up so hopefully you guys can see what I do here. So like I said, guys, not sure how well you're going to see this, but you can get your hand on um, the back side of these cables and uh, go ahead and pull this one closest to the firewall here off of there like that and I'm not sure if you guys can see the spark plug down in there so you take your little extension get it on your wrench here and just get back in here you should have plenty of room Break that one free. Get your wrench out of the way. You should be able to stick your left hand in here and unscrew that one. Pull it out. There's that one. Then take your new plug, and the hardest part is probably going to be finding the spark plug hole here. And you want to try not to get the uh, spark plug dirty. You can see it's quite a bit of oil and stuff on this engine. So you got to kind of look through the wires here, try to find that hole there, get it started in there. Grab a wrench and go ahead and tighten that one up. Again, just go off a of feel, unless you can get your torque wrench in here, but right around 13 foot pounds. And then again, just set this on here for now, just kind of like that. And then move on to cylinder number three. extension you may want to just get on the spark plug first kind of latch it on there and then you can get your socket wrench in here which 
still isn't very easy. Break that free. There's that one. And then of course grab a new one and try to find the hole there and get this one started by hand. Gotta get it just right in there to get that to turn. Like I said, you always want to start them by hand because uh, you really do not want to cross thread spark plugs. Then you got a major issue on your hands. And I know it's not the best camera angle for you guys, but it's about as good as I can do. Just turn that till it stops. Grab your wrench. And tighten that up. That. And let's go ahead and move on to the last one. So this last one will be the easiest. But like I said, these ones here, all I did was just go in through here and then uh, with the shorter extension, you're able to reach this back one back in there. So go ahead and pull your wire off here. that one and go ahead and get your last one in there and just like that there's all six spark plugs so next let's go ahead and move on to the uh, distributor cap here where we're gonna undo all of our wires here so now you can take a picture if you want uh, just make sure your new cap has numbers on them. You can see numbers for the cylinders. So we know where the uh, wires go. Or if not, like I said, you can take a picture and uh, kind of see where the wires are going. But to get these wires off, so you got this little tab right here. So you can use a screwdriver or just your finger. Just kind of lift up, lift up on that. And then you can pull the uh, old wires off of that. So let's go ahead and pull off all these wires here. There's all those. So now let's go ahead and uh, we'll take our cap off of here. And to get that off, you're gonna have three eight millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those, or you can use a Phillips screwdriver, whatever works best for you. Then you go ahead and lift this off of here, just like that. 
Next, we'll go ahead and remove the rotor. And you got two Phillips screws holding that in. So go ahead and uh, pull those out of there. And that one wasn't tight at all for some reason. To get those loose, this should just pop right off of here. So just like that. And we will need to reuse these uh, two Phillips screws there. Okay guys, so uh, get your new rotor. Uh, I just went with a Bosch one, 04269. Got this one off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. So here's our new one. And you can see, like I said, it doesn't come with new screws, so you will need to reuse the old ones. But if you compare it to the old one here, take a look, you can see just all the wear on that one and corrosion. So it's a good thing we're replacing this. So what we can do, go ahead and get this uh, back on. It can only go on one way. Just line up your screw holes there. And then go ahead and grab your two screws from the old one. Go ahead and kind of get those in there. Just kind of drop them into place there. And go ahead and tighten those up. Get those somewhat tight. Like I said, that one was on there real loose for some reason. Next, go ahead and grab your new cap. And again, I went with the Bosch cap on this. And part number 03388, which I also got off Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description for it. Open it up here, Our new cap, and then they do give you new uh, bolts for this. And if you take a look, here's our old one. And you can just see the uh, corrosion on it as well. So as that rotor's spinning, you can see the wear. So this one definitely needed replaced, as opposed to our new one here. You can see. A piece of plastic there that looks a lot better so let's go ahead and throw this on and uh this can pretty much only go on one way as well just line up your holes there or the uh cylinder number one it's going to be right on top here it's going to sit on there like that and then go ahead and get your bolts started here And then go ahead and uh, get those tightened up. So now we'll go ahead and uh, replace our spark plug wires. So I went with these uh, Walker Thundercore Pros 900-1314. Also got these off Amazon and I'll put a link in the description for them. But what I like to do Get these opened up and you can see they actually include some dielectric grease too which is kind of nice what i do is i uh get all these strung out untangled because these do not have some will have numbers on them for what cylinder they go to but these do not so you got to measure them out when you pull the wires off so like i said i just kind of get them stretched out and then what we'll do is pull one wire off at a time. We'll try and measure them the same length and then replace it with the uh, new one that's the same length. So just kind of like that. So what you can do is um, let's go ahead and start out with cylinder number six here. And uh, 
just go ahead and pull that and then to get it out of this little loom here just take a flathead screwdriver right here just kind of pry in there and this will actually kind of swing outward so it kind of releases and then you can just kind of pull this downward and then that'll release the wire here so go ahead and undo that wire and then you can get this one out down from here pull this out of here and there's a uh, number six so let's go ahead and measure it to our new ones so take your old one and it's kind of obvious you can tell which ones are going to be close you can see that one's a little longer if you take this one here that one looks like it's going to be pretty close just a hair longer so maybe this no that's the coil so yeah it looks like it's going to be this one here is going to be the closest so let's go ahead and replace that one so then you can take your uh, dielectric grease they give you and uh go ahead and open this and then what you want to do is take your new wire here and you're just going to put a little little dab of this right inside the boot here just kind of something like that don't need too much and then go ahead and uh stick this on your plug down here make sure it clicks on there you heard it click and then you can go ahead and uh take this and wire it through here Just try not to break this because that plastic's real brittle, I can already tell. Get your wire fed up in here. So it kind of clicks in there. And then I think this one went right here. And then since that's cylinder number six, locate six on here, which is this very top one. So go ahead and uh, push that on there. And you can see you got these uh, little tabs here, which are going to go right there. this way there we go let's get that pushed on there like that and let's go ahead and uh, move on to cylinder number four let's go ahead and pull that one off and this one's on the bottom one here so let's get that fed through let me go measure this one up Okay, got that one measured up. Take some more of my dielectric grease here. Go ahead and stick that on. Spark plug four. Here, click. Get it fed up in here. go ahead and just close this so it doesn't break on me feed this one through here and then cylinder number four is going to be this uh, lowest one here again line up your tab with that tab get that on there like that Under two here, it's gonna be a real small one. Get that undone. And if you take a look here, I'll show you. This one definitely need to replace because uh, you can see a little tear in the wire there on the insulation. And this one's going to be your shortest one out of them all, except for the ignition coil one. So the uh, smallest spark plug wire out of them all. And as you guys are doing this too, um, you want to try not and cross these. Like put this one down here or opposite, whatever. 
You don't want these crossed because it causes, causes like an interference. So try and get them as straight as possible. So I'm gonna go on cylinder two here. Try and get that one clicked on there. It's kind of hard to click on there. There we go. And then go ahead and go to uh, cylinder two on this. And I'm going to come up through here so I can go on this middle one. Right there like that. Bring it around to cylinder number two. So kind of like that. And then there was this piece that fell off. So this is just another one of these to kind of keep them uh, separated. So you can just kind of stick that right there. Just like that. So then you do your ignition coil wire here. Kind of hard to get a screwdriver under there. There we go. And then that'll be the only wire in the set that doesn't have a boot on one side. So you can go ahead and uh, Get this one plugged in. And this will go on the middle one of the distributor cap here. Like that. So now we'll go ahead and do one, three, and five. I'll start out with one since I left this one kind of undone over here. So just kind of get it fed through. Looks like it's on the bottom portion of this piece here. It's going to be this. Uh, this bottom one here and you only got three wires left so you'll want to use the shortest one because that's going to be cylinder one here I'm not sure why this block is right here kind of a weird spot for it feed that one through cylinder one it's gonna be right on top here just like that and let's see which one it is cylinder three actually let me get one plugged in first okay so you guys kind of get the point on how to do this so let me go ahead and get the rest of these done here real quick So next you can go ahead and remove your rag out of your throttle body and then I went ahead and just cleaned this up some. Uh, it was pretty black. I just used uh, some of this throttle body cleaner. So now let's go ahead and get our uh, air intake back on. And you can see this uh, intake definitely needs to be replaced. You can see the rubber just cracking on it so I have to look at getting a new one of those. 
we'll go ahead and uh, get this back on here. And remember, this was kind of a pain to do. There we go. So let's work it on there. Like I said, it's kind of hard to get that back on, but once you get it on, it should be good. Let's go ahead and tighten up our uh, worm clamps now. Let's start out with this one and I'll get this back on as well. Put that in place. Okay guys, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and uh, start it and make sure everything's good. All right, so now let's go ahead and start it here. And as you can see, it seems to be running just fine. No check engine light on there. So we should be good. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for the video. Again, this was a 1994 Toyota pickup 3.0 liter V6. Went ahead and did a quick tune up. So that was uh, spark plugs, spark plug wires, distributor cap and rotor. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos. I got a few on this truck, so check those out when you get a chance and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.